Okay, what happened? Are we live? Oh, yes. Okay, I think so. So I think we're live here. And I'm going to just check on my phone just to make sure that it's all working properly. So just hang tight. <sighs> yes, it is. And for some reason, it's not showing. Let's see. Oh, good. All right, we're good. So before we get started, uh, Stephanie is here with me, but hi and welcome to anybody who's arriving and um, say hello if you're joining us. <sighs> so I'm just going to open this high vibe convo um, with a little guided meditation and a prayer, a little guided breathing and a prayer. <sighs> And this, I just, this is kind of the beginning of a series of interviews that I'll be doing here in the group. Um, and the really, the, the common thread that's coming through for these conversations is, is the goddess healers. Um, and each one of us in this temple is a healer and a way shower and a light worker, whether or not you're claiming that or not yet, um, that has, is what brought you here, um, because of a deep calling in your DNA, in your body, in your ancestry, in your essence, a calling to surround yourself by awakening women, a calling to be inspired, a calling to awaken things within you that you know feels good and expansive and loving. And this is us stepping together in the new earth, returning back to the ancient temple, the ancient temple ways, the ancient temple blueprints that provided this technology for the source energy to come down to earth. And that is the intention behind this temple here on Facebook is to unite us from all over the world and to use this technology as a portal to unite us and to transmit energy from the divine to earth and step into our power as co-creators of heaven on earth. So welcome. And just before I welcome Stephanie to the screen, I just want to invite you to close your eyes if you're joining us to connect to your breath, to connect to yourself, To inhale, make your spine nice and long. And to exhale, ah, sending your love and your energy out there to the world, to this planet, to the horizon. And inhale, bringing in energy from the center of the earth and from the sun. And exhale, sending it out to the planet. So as you do this breathing, you anchor a grounding core down to the earth. And you anchor a ascending cord up to the center sun. And as you inhale, you bring both of those energies into your body. And exhaling, sharing it outward, back, giving it back. Just taking a few more breaths like that. Feeling this breathing pattern, creating a double Taurus field around you where you're giving and receiving and that pattern awakens the sacred geometrical grid that's in your aura, clearing any low vibrational densities in your aura, 
And allowing that natural flow to return. The natural alignment, the way that it's designed to be. So let's all take together one more of these breaths. And if you like with your exhale, you can really make a sound and really release from the body. Ah, maybe give a little shake. Shake, 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 shake. And we'll bring Steph on to the screen. Woo! Here she is. And let's unmute her. There we go. Hello, dear. Hello, ha. <laughs> Aloha, Stephanie Lira. Thank you so much for joining me today on this. Mahalo. Oh, sorry, I'm trying to find us in full screen here. There we go. Oh, thank you, Ashley Sunshine. Our, you're so welcome. Sorry. Mm -hmm. sorry about that. Uh, it's pronounced <sighs> Stephanie so Lyra, by the way. Stephanie Lyra, thank you. Lyra. <laughs> <laughs> so good okay so good to be here together um so like i mentioned this is an interview high vibe earth new earth conversation where we're really connecting our energies and we're at the end of this conversation going to receive a transmission from stephanie um, feel her offering in the healing of the divine feminine in the activation of our soul gifts of uh, light workers and I'll give Stephanie a little intro um, to do and if you're here give us a heart give us a shout out let us know you're with us so we feel you oh I feel you I feel you uh, <laughs> So Stephanie and I met in Tel Aviv, uh, like five oh, years gosh. ago. Uh, I uh, gathered a troop of sisters together in a moon circle for the first time around five and a half years ago. And we met under the full moon, um, along with some other very, very dear sisters that evening who we continued this lifelong friendship and this lifelong remembrance of the sisterhood. Uh, which was just this start of our path. It was like, it was an amplification of our path to meet each other and to meet these other sisters that were with us um, that evening and also throughout the journey uh, of, of returning to this femininity, returning to the circle and really stepping into empowering each other to share our gifts with the world. Um, so I've seen Stephanie get married, get divorced. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh my God. Adventures. I've heard her stories and she has done nothing more but inspire me and help me to grow into who I am today and continues to do that. Uh, she left Israel a few years ago and, uh, is now living in Hawaii and, uh, she is a life coach. Um, along with many other things, um, an ancestral healer, an inner child worker. I've had uh, inner child sessions with her that were really life-changing and transforming. And really she is now a new earth way shower um, as she calls herself and as is her, her handle. And I really see her like, mm -hmm. I really see you like that, Stephanie. And uh, mm -hmm. And I, and I am constantly inspired by your journey and by your path. Um, and yeah, so that's my kind of intro. And from there, I'd love to hear you kind of share your, who are you? <sighs> oh my goodness. Wow. Thank you. I was just um, feeling so much like deep, 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 deep. Um, <sighs> gratitude. Mm. 
for the magnitude of our journey together as sisters, you and I, and all of us. You know, many of us have been walking together for a long time, like for lifetimes. And we're like, we really are remembering together. And it's more than just remembering because we're also creating, you know? It's like we're bridging the ancient with the future <laughs> through our bodies. Yeah. It's not just we're sitting here like watching the show or something. We like came here to activate and to do something new and to create and to fulfill, you know, the, the divine template um, that is coded within us uniquely individually. And then together it creates this beautiful mosaic that is constantly changing, has no beginning and has no end. It's just a beautiful creation <laughs> and that's what we're doing. And a big part of where we are right now is forgiving the past and letting the past be undone um, by staying in the present moment. That's where our power is. Um, and what I've learned about forgiveness of the past is that we have to have the courage to look at it, to see it. Because the awakening is we wake up to all of ourself, the magnitude. So if we want to access the magnitude of light and brilliance, we have to know the other end of the spectrum. We are awakening to our wholeness, which is that whole entire spectrum. So to undo the past, to forgive the past, to let the past go, we have to see it. We have to see this dualistic game that we've been involved in for <laughs> lifetimes together. And we've all been on both sides, light and the dark, the light and the dark. And that's how we liberate ourselves. We liberate ourselves from judgment, from dualistic thinking, from hierarchical, uh, belief systems that don't recognize uh, the truth of our divinity, you know, and our oneness, like we liberate ourselves from that. But in order to liberate, in order to access that wholeness, we have to know the nitty gritty, you know, where we've been, all, all of it, all the shit. That's how the lotus blossoms. It blossoms out of the mud, like it grows out of the fucking mud. <laughs> and it can't grow otherwise. And it's like the most beautiful flower, one of the most beautiful flowers on this planet. <sighs> so that's what we're doing. That's what we're living and breathing. And um, yeah, I can share more about my personal playing with that um, because it's personal for each one of us. But that was kind of just like an overview of, you know. What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, I really feel that too on my journey, especially right now in these current times of this needing to feel what mm -hmm. we've been through yeah. um, in our past yeah. lives, in our childhood and in our ancestry. You know, it's, yeah. it's all coming up to the surface now as you say you know everything will be revealed everything is being revealed right now and yeah. and that it be the light workers the way showers the healers are the ones saying okay you know the pain stops here or the hurt the hurt stops here and i am willing to feel it i am willing to to work with it, to hold myself, to hold those parts of myself that are in pain, that are suffering from whatever happened in the past so that we can actually once and for all feel it fully. And from that place of, of, of the descent into the feminine, mm -hmm. we, we emerge 
to, to help the collective. You know, we emerge to show, you know, to show the collective what's possible and to unite with the collective and play together with what's possible. <laughs> uh -huh. The descent into the feminine, exactly. It's like a descent and it's, it's a descent into matter, dark matter of the body. And like that is what the uh, forces of darkness, let's just call it that, the polarity, the forces of darkness have been most um, programming us to be afraid of doing, to descend into our body and our sexuality, you know? They make us forget about that. So it was all just the light, just be this like, um, you know, a virgin, uh, Virgin Mary kind of energy, Mother Mary. <laughs> She's here <laughs> and she knows she was a Magdalene, you know, and, and they, it was whitewashed. So just the pure white. And that's why we see this um, pandemic of body hatred and body mistrust. <clears throat> and we are healing that. We are saying like, that is a lie. Like it is a lie that I can't trust this body. It is a lie that like my body should be hated. It is a lie that my body is anything less than beautiful, a perfect miracle. You know, that's what it is. And if it's not operating that way, it's only because these beliefs have taken hold in our mind and our body is following the program. It's like a computer. The body is like, the most magnificent computer and we download information into our mind from the infinite and we get to choose if the program that we are um, ingesting downloading is a viral program or is a natural organic divine love period it's not even a program because love can't be programmed so I'm just like inviting us to feel that cascade of love coming through our crowns. Feel what is natural, feel what is organic. Feel the elements, fire, air, water, earth. Oh my God, it's like we are living, breathing, organic beings, you know, powered by love. Yes, it's like this unhooking from a viral belief system that had been programmed into our minds. And these are the viral belief systems um, for those of us tuning in are kind of the, the structures put in place of, of religion and of, of our patriarchy. Mm -hmm and of even technology like technology is our friend but there have been uh, placed in technology um, systems that suck us in to an old or a not natural paradigm mm -hmm. and i really hear what you're saying is that we have embedded within us a blue an organic blueprint that is one with nature that is one with Gaia with mama earth with the cosmos and where these creatures of infinite you know majesty and infinite creativity and we have you know access to a, a life of joy and and whatever programs are feeding us that is viral and it doesn't bring about a life of joy, like it's time, it's time to re redirect and allow that wave of love to once again drive us and allow our ascension to be us choosing love over all. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> Amen, sister. Woo! Preach. Holla. Hallelujah. Oh my God. Yes. <sighs> mm. Yeah. Yeah. So what I 
feel in this moment that might be most relevant to share um, to our sisters in the temple is that, and maybe this is going to lead into the transmission, um, is that we, like we are divine human beings. Um, and what we just spoke to, you and I, Ashley, is our sovereignty and our freedom to choose, to choose, period. <laughs> I could add on to choose our beliefs, to choose our thoughts, to choose the food we eat, to, yeah, all that. It's choosing in every moment. Yeah, yeah. We, the power is, is us. The power is us. It's, it's our heart, you know. Our heart is like where the divine meets form, you know. It's like, it's a energetic, um, it's an energetic space, sacred space. And it's also a physical, you know, it's a center of our body. It's like pumping the blood. And if we uh, look at um, what is, I think, uh, I, be, I from my memory, if the planet is still where it was um, a year ago in terms of the uh, inflictions of the physical body and the mm, poisons of the mind, uh, heart disease, issues of the heart, those are the number one causes of death you know, on this planet. So that's the physical vessel of the heart being unable to pump in a natural way. It's erratic. Not only that, it's not even getting enough blood supply, which means it's not getting enough oxygen. And what does that mean? We're not taking in with our full breath and yoga, like you are like a yoga warrior um, of truth. And you carry that. Um, that torch, <laughs> we used to see visions of this, I remember that, of you with the flame, like holding it. And when you said mantle before, um, for me, you're like my handle is the new earth way shower. <laughs> I, I was thinking of uh, a handle, like a handle of like a, a, a mantle. I don't even know what language I'm using right now, but I'm just seeing um, <laughs> our, oh yeah, I'm seeing our like kingdom and our queendom. And like, I think, I don't know, I think kings and queen mantles. I don't know what that means, but they also hold something. And that's what I heard when you said handle. I was like, yeah, that's my handle, baby. That's my handle, way showing for the new earth. You know, that's what we are here doing. So you with that yoga and <laughs> a myriad of other things, you're helping us breathe oxygen into our body so that our hearts can pump. And when our physical heart is pumping, our energetic heart also gets activated. So like we have to do both. Mm -hmm. uh, and then the second part of the reason why we're being cut off from oxygen, oxygen is uh, we're not breathing fully because our life force energy with the programs is being drained. That's why we're changing our programs. And then the second is that the earth, the planet, which provides us oxygen through her plants, through her trees, uh, is also being cut off because the macro of the earth is a mirror of our bodies. Our bodies are a mirror of the macro. So as we are siphoning off our ability to intake oxygen on the outside, what are we doing? as humans also, we're cutting off the oxygen supply on the planet through our actions, which are run by our energy, by our emotions. And our emotions are controlled by our thoughts. And we have to take back control of our thoughts. That's the source. Like just plug in to, to the divine and source our energy from there. <sighs> And then what we do on this earth is an extension of that love. And that's what's moving through us. 
So what I would love to um, maybe open up space for you and others to share um, in this moment, and we can continue the conversation later, is what are the um, major obstructions that you're facing right now in relation to taking that power back and plugging in to the divine. We all have our different obstacles because we all have different life experiences. We all have different um, biology that we're working with based on our ancestry. We're all, um, we're all working with different, different things that we want to heal. And we come together to share our wisdom and to share our love so that we can heal those, those things. So we're like sharing with each other and we're holding space for each other. We're sharing wisdom, we're sharing touch, we're sharing love, however that looks. And that's how like each one of us is healing like our unique shit, <laughs> you know? Um, so yeah, I want to hear what the major obstacles you're facing. Um, one of the themes that Ashley, you brought up at the beginning of our convo before we turned on is the theme of betrayal. And I was also feeling the energy of like that we were, that we are all carrying here. And I just said, you know, we used to get killed for this, you know, women uh, connected to the earth and God used to be killed. There was a period of time where we were killed and it happened for many centuries and it's happening now to this very day. It's happening now. So because we are sovereign creators, it's up to us to hold that remembrance and to live it so that others around us can remember too, because that's all it is. Um, the forces of darkness don't have any power. They have to siphon it off of us. <laughs> so if we cut off that energy source, then bye, you know? And, and that's what it means to live in the new earth now. When we experience those, those present moments of bliss and joy, they're gone. They don't exist. <laughs> yeah. How, like, what would you say is a good, like, tool or a way for people to, you know, stop that siphoning mm -hmm. and, and maybe what does that feel like to, to be siphoned? And then what does that feel like to stop it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's as simple as how you opened this conversation with that visualization and that breathing and that sounding that you did. Literally, my reality transformed completely. You know, <laughs> I was already in a pretty good space, but when we did that, all of our power, we were drawing all of our power into our body through the breath, through our, all of our senses, including our inner sight, you know, visualizing how the energy comes from Gaia and the sun like that that we had to friggin' exercise our minds in order to do that. And that's what we like have been, um, our muscles of imagination and our minds, they've become lax because of the system that's meant to make it lax. It's meant to make it numb. It's meant to make it like idiots, basically, you know, with the television <laughs> and the food. <laughs> And, uh, you know, cruises, you know, like, you know, we're becoming freaking, they want us to be robots, you know, um, to disconnect us from our organic source of love. And by breathing and sounding, we just activate all the organic material inside of our body. And so that's why one of the best things we can do is start taking in organic material, organic life material, because the moment that hits your cells, your cells wake up and to be organic. So if we're taking in processed um, dead things, you know, that's what's, it's just meeting other dead matter in our body and it's condensing and solidifying, you know, that's why water, like to bless our water and to just infuse it with love, you know, water carries all that frequency. Sending love from the dolphins of Big Island across the world to Israel. 
through Egypt to China, to Japan, to Alaska, to the East Coast, to the West Coast, to South America, Central America, Antarctica, all over. See, feel how connected we are just by tuning into the ocean. Boom, it's all there. And the dolphins and the whales singing their songs, you know, like they're transmitting frequencies. They're holding the memory of Gaia, they're mammals. You know, they go down to Gaia and they work with all the elements, including the water, but they got to come up because they, they are our guardians. So they go boom with their like um, spout, <laughs> like the dolphins jump up and that's how they transmit the energy. That's how they transmit like the most up-to-date like codes, both the, the memory, the ancient wisdom codes and the present codes, because they're constantly circling around the planet and they're just picking up what the humans are sending. Thank God that they have a blueprint that they can never lose. You know, if, if they go, boom, we're done. Like the whole planet's done because they're just a symbol for that connection to the divine. Yeah. So everyone just feel, feel the love of the dolphins right now. Oh. <laughs> And then feel the protection of the whales. They got us. They got we got this. They got us. <laughs> it's like that easy, like really connecting and tuning in and unhooking from, you know, this siphoning of our energy or, you know, this um, just like not creating heaven on earth. Like, this idea, this like this, this wave or this fad that's going on that like we can't create heaven on earth, you know, mm -hmm. that life is supposed mm -hmm. to be hard, mm -hmm. you know, that, mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. it might grow on trees and, mm -hmm. you know, you got to work hard for your, mm -hmm. to, to earn your value. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's really as simple as reconnecting to things that you love doing and really reconnecting to, you know, beautiful nature and realizing that like, as you witness nature, like the dolphins, like the whales, you start to see their, you know, if you look closely, you see their spirits <laughs> and you see their, their freedom and their codes that they're offering us. And it's really that simple, just tuning into that and, and giving your, into that. your attention to that. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. And to know that if you're having a hard time, as we all do sometimes, to tune into that, it's because we are, we're renegades. <laughs> Like we're renegades of a system that has been in place for a long time. So don't beat yourself up if you find it hard some days to get your feet on the ground. Because you know what? It's not that easy all around the world for people to do that. And for many people around the world, their feet are on the ground. But you know what? It's a polluted ground. Or their bodies are polluted so they can't even feel the ground. You know? So it's like, whoa, every time we, every time we choose life, it's, it's an act of um, empowerment because it resists, it resists an uh, old paradigm that is anti-life. So we're doing an amazing job and that's why we're here together because we need to lift each other up and to help each other do that. The moment we have a thought of judgment or separation against one of our brothers and sisters, boom, we got plugged back into the program because that's what it wants. It wants us to separate from each other. It wants it, us to treat each other. It wants us to treat friends as enemies. So they separate. So by coming back together this way, by loving each other, by forgiving each other, mm -hmm. as hard as that is, and it's an mm -hmm. ongoing process, I, I can feel where there's unforgiveness forgiveness in my system. How do I feel it when I know that I'm not fully accessing love? I, I can feel there's like a drip or something, or there's a thread going like this. I'm like, oh, I haven't forgiven. And 
what forgiveness is, it's an act of love and it's, it's really connected to ourselves. It's forgiving ourselves for allowing us to believe in that nightmare. For believing in that nightmare, that's it. To forgive ourselves for believing in that. And it's, you know, with the, the love that's coming through right now, like that, that, that we're transmitting, that the light is transmitting through us, we can do it because it's the truth, you know? And the truth is very powerful. And these, these, these belief systems, a lot, most of them, the inorganic ones, the ones that separate, those are lies. They're going against the truth of our divinity, of our sovereignty, of our oneness. So we need to help each other. And like the moment we forgive ourselves or extend love to someone who's hurt us, oh, like it's really like one of the most powerful things that we can do. So what you just said was so healing for me, you know, even mm. those few words um, per personally, and like, this is a little bit controversial, but I'll just say it like, personally, I, you know, the betrayal thing that you brought up, um, I feel betrayed by all the companies of, that are doing the vaccines. Um, I feel that there hasn't, you know, I, I'm all for, you know, people uh, stopping to be afraid and you know people feeling safe but i feel that there just hasn't been enough testing and they're using the whole planet as a as a, a, a testing ground and mm -hmm. and it's mm -hmm. a lot of money in it mm -hmm. and, and you know they're i i personally and i'm you know everybody is entitled to their own opinion but my, i personally mm -hmm. feel that that they're using fear to to get more money mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. that personally makes me feel betrayed and mm -hmm. i don't want to mm -hmm. do it like i don't want to do it mm -hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. i feel like maybe in israel and i'm not sure that about where like in hawaii but in israel mm -hmm. i i the the, the the buzz is that they're going to kind of make us do it okay mm -hmm. uh, and and okay with that you know and this this i have this anger around it and just you saying that this act of forgiveness is is not believing in the nightmare is like forgiving ourselves for letting go of the nightmare yeah. um, is is so helpful because it's like come come it's for me it's 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 reminding me to come back to trust to come yes. back to the knowing that you know it's all going to be okay and what I, what, what I need to do, I'm going to know when I need to do it. So I don't need to make movies in my head about what's going to be. And I can just tap in like to right now and, and how, and what makes me feel good right now. And it's kind of like, it's this weapon that we have inside of us that we yeah. can turn against, you know, people. Yes. yes. We use our power against other people <laughs> instead of against the forces that are seeking to um, separate us, you know? And that's like the best trick in the book, but it's not a trick because we know it, you know? We know it now, we woke up, we know it. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, yes. So, and it's like mm -hmm. this weapon can actually be it with a flower, you know, mm -hmm. inside, like it's like a gun with that little flower, like that little girl, you know, at the, at the front line with her little flower coming out of the gun, like. Yeah. Like, yeah. And sometimes it spits flames like a dragon and it just burns the whole motherfucker down. Yes. And that's, we got to do that with our energy, our energy body, right? This is all a reflection out there is a reflection of what's inside. So inside of our body, we have to activate the fire, you know, and that's something that those of us who live more in the spiritual world and the heart space, um, but still not so much in the body, that's what we need to activate. A lot of us mostly is the fire um, because it's the water that's kind of kept us behind the scenes. It's the water that's kept us, you know, relatively protected. Um, 
you know, but what's needed the most is fire right now uh, in this moment. Maybe it's going to change in six months or whatever, but it's the fire energy within us that says like, I'm here. This is who I am. This is what I think. This is how I move. This is how I speak. And I don't care if you don't do it the same way, because of course you don't do it the same way. You're a different spark of the divine. If you're doing it the same way, then damn, that means like they got me. Then I'm a robot. <laughs> and then I wouldn't even realize someone was doing the same thing because I wouldn't have that consciousness. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so funny. That's oh. so great. And yeah, like, it's like- Is anyone asking questions? That, that you feel is relevant for us to speak on right now? There's no questions, but there's mm -hmm. some love from Nikki mm -hmm. and from Paulette and from Mandy and Catherine. Catherine says many tricks. Um, oh yeah, yeah. those tricksters. And Eleanor, we got this. so we got- Yeah, we thank you all sisters for activating your unique medicine because you know, we need like everyone. We need everyone and please do not be like anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. Like the, you're letting us down then, <laughs> you know, like we need you fully activated in whatever like superhero suit you wear. You know, we don't need all to be a uh, super woman. Like some of us can be cat woman. Some of us can be like a uh, trickster, you know, woman that like plays like the tricks, but for good, I'm connected with one of those beings. You know, he's helping me like fucking trick up and trip up the whole system, the whole legal system, you know? And I'm yeah, like, oh my out. God, you're so much fun, you know, but I'm not him, you know, I'm like, I'm sitting here and like, I'm like, thank you for sharing your gifts with me because you're serving me because that's the, that's what I need right now in order to serve my mission. Yes. So he's literally like helping me. He's helping me walk my path by being himself. Mm -hmm. you're all oh. helping each other walk our paths by being yourself and that's it that's it nothing else you don't need to do anything else except for be your natural organic self and activate your divine blueprint Whoa. oh my god and just notice liberating anytime we get sucked into comparison mindset to just remind ourselves of that you know just mm -hmm. like yeah the comparison mindset is another one of those viral belief systems that don't make sense in the end. It's literally that robot energy. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. We don't want that. Totally. Energy. And yeah. we are also, we can play all different roles too. You know, we don't just have to be like the mermaid. We don't just have to be the fierce priestess. We can also be like the flirty sex vixen, you know, that uses her powerful sexual energy to mm, fix people's hearts on their own truth. Boom. Because sexual energy is just power. You can do anything with it, you know? Um, there, there's all of our garden fairies. And like, we can be that at like, you know, in the morning, you could be a garden fairy, you know, in the afternoon, you can like take on that, um, you know, maybe you're an oracle, you take on the oracle role. And then evening, I don't know, you're going to a party and you're bringing out something else, you know? Like we get to be everything. We are everything. <laughs> That's so fun. It's literally an, an unlimited playground that we live on no. right now. And I'll never forget that poem that you wrote about like, what if earth mm. was a playground? You know, it's like, yeah, what if it was? Like, what if there was literally like, we were playing with the house money and yes <laughs> and we get to make as many cakes as we want <laughs> yeah we get to make as much bank as we want we get to use crystals as our currency if we want to you know like we get to do anything 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 i love it i love it so, so like le we let's plug in to this temple right here you know and is it a good time to lead us into a closing um, yeah, but transmission. before we do that, mm -hmm. let mm -hmm. me ask you a, like one more or two more okay. questions. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that I wanted to talk about tonight, because you are launching your um, life coach training 
And yes. um, many of our sisters in this temple have taken your training last round. And, yes. um, you know, this is just, you know, this is one amazing opportunity for women to step deeper into their path as light workers and healers um, and show up more with their gifts, exactly what Stephanie was saying, like as your unique self, this is a tool, an empowerment tool to bring you further. And um, so if, you know, I just want to make a little calling right now in this energy, in this space, if you're vibing with this, mm. to, to look at yourself and ask yourself, like, are you ready to step up? And like, how, how does that look like? Um, and, and that maybe this is an option for you to, to step up even more into your light and into your sharing and into your healing. Um, and I just am here in full support of that because, you know, as many women as can get like invest in themselves to get the help that they need in order to feel the confidence and the clarity about their own soul gifts and, and then be able to share them, you know, with others uh, is huge. And a part of, you know, what, what is interesting for me right now in this moment about this is the idea of, of investing in yourself. And uh, this is something I wanted to bring up in this conversation because we're having this really, you know, um, this new earth frequency conversation. And I want to really bring it into, you know, the here and now, like, what can we do and how do we ground this? Mm -hmm. And yeah. One of the ways that I have found personally to ground like my acceleration in, in, in walking my way is by investing in myself. Um, and it's really interesting because if you do a, you know, a life, a life coaching training, you're investing in yourself in order so that people can invest in themselves through you. Oh my God. And that oh, is that's so, full of love. Yeah. A fountain of love. <laughs> yes. Yes. So I wanted just for you to riff on that for a moment of like, what does it mean to invest in yourself? And oh, what does yeah. it mean to invest in yourself to then uh, be a channel for which others can invest in themselves? Yeah. I, I see the vision. I see the energy, how it flows. Like we are vessels of love. We're overflowing fountains of love. You know, the more that we um, cultivate ourselves to receive that divine love energy, move it through our body and be instruments of love on the planet, put our feet on the ground, be organic divine human beings, we become vessels of, of love, right? When we're vessels of love, we're overflowing. We are sovereign, right? So we look around us and we say, okay, these are, you know, this is my queendom or my kingdom you know these are the resources at my disposal at the moment physical and energetic emotional everything our food our money our friendships our network of connections you know uh the crystals the animals that we have around us those are our resources they're always changing they're always infinite because we're always being provided for the resources that we need to serve our divine mission when we are in alignment so we just look around in our resources and to invest in ourselves means we take some of those resources and we say, I'm going to put it here. I'm going to put these resources here and this is how I'm going to use them. This is how they're going to grow. This is how they're going to be distributed, all that. So it's just, it's just using our life force energy to continue the flow. It's like tending to our garden. You know, we put new seeds in there sometimes, you know, we prune it sometimes. That's what we do. So by investing in whatever it is, so we can talk about investing in support. We can talk about investing in training, like foundations of coaching. We can talk about investing in uh, learning how to scuba dive, right? Gosh, can you feel the value of this? Because it just moves through our system. It's like that. So the, wow, it's investing in the food that we eat. Oh my God, like, wow. So we activate our sovereignty and we choose through our alignment where we want to put our resources. And when we do that, again, we're just being those vessels of love. Others are, other beings are seeing that, seeing our sovereignty, seeing our health and our vitality. And they're like, oh, 
Uh, maybe may I drink from your fountain? You know, what is it that you're offering that might be of medicine to me that might be of support to me right now? You know, and then their water flows onward. <laughs> you know? That's how I see it. Wow, I love that. Can you, can I drink from your fountain? And then when you drink from a, 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 an, an, um, a teacher's fountain, then you, that water flows through you and then you can share that water of healing, of light, of, of support, of love, really with, with others. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Yes. Yeah. yes. Thank mm. you. May I share um, some of the aspects of um, the training program that I feel uh, are valuable um, that would be medicine? Because I wrote this down a couple months ago and I just brought it out for our convo and I feel like I want to speak it. Beautiful, love the rose. Okay. <laughs> um, so this, this container is doing a few things. It's helping you learn certain skills that you might use to be of service. So this uh, container is meant for those who feel they're meant to work one-on-one -on -one and in groups, like to, to use their, their body, their voice, um, to hold space for others, to guide, to serve as mirrors. Um, the container is also to deepen our understanding of the human journey from different aspects. You know, just I'm sharing my well of wisdom of what I understand and I'm sharing that. So the container is also to go deeper into understanding, you know, to activate your gifts and your intuition, to unleash your authentic expression, to learn how to transmute fear energy into your power, to align with your truth, to be empowered to serve, to be supported, to create, and to be part of a community that's actively co-creating the new earth. That's what this is. So feel free to you know, ask me questions or connect with other sisters who've done um, this work, this journey. And I'm really excited. <laughs> yeah I see the sisters who did it and I see them you know serving and it's so you've activated them and it's so yeah. wonderful they have activated themselves by choosing to enter that space of activation you know that that I am holding yeah yeah oh oh yes queen amazing thank you so much for that offering and for your work in this world it's so valuable and i love interviewing you because you mm. are a very very uh authentic expression of yourself and it's so fun to play with you and to just riff with you on that on that in that space of like two beings being themselves and just being sovereign and accepting each other and flowing with each other and and it just feels great yeah, it's amazing. Thank you, Ashley, so much. You're welcome. Thank you. So I will um, now leave so you can take the stage and send us through your little transmission or your mm -hmm. big transmission. Um, and then I'll pop back on to say goodbye. Okay, cool. I'm just going to take uh, one minute here to drink some more water. So we can all also, if you're here with us or if you're watching the video, you can take a couple moments to gather yourself, to really like clear the space around you, maybe light a candle, uh, maybe put a glass of water um, next to you that can be activated by the frequencies and then we'll drink it at the end. Um, so yeah, BRB.
for those goddesses who are here or who are joining. In a few moments, we're going to just have an activation and transmission from Stephanie. So if you want to get a candle or a glass of water, Ashley, is there a time um, limit you want to place on this for any yeah, for any reason? No. Okay. Okay. Beautiful. So yeah, it would be great if everyone has some water um, to put in front of them because this is how we're all going to connect together. And. Yeah, just clear your space. We're going to right now just like feel um, <laughs> a beautiful golden spider web um, or net of love all around the planet, holding us all here together, no matter where in the world we are. In this moment, we're all connected. And we're just going to we're gonna feel into our bodies right now and just feel our organic nature. And organic means um, it cannot be uh, imitated. It cannot be, it's not predictable. It's not predictable. Um, it's connected to all beings. So that's, that's how we are. That's how our energy moves. So just breathe and see how your energy wants to move in this moment. And if you're feeling any tension in your physical body or your emotional body, it is only because in this present moment, 
there's something that is uh, obstructing the way your energy wants to move. And energy is neutral. So it doesn't matter if it's sadness energy or if it's joy energy or if it's like some other kind of energy. It just wants to move. That's it. So here, just give yourself full permission to be yourself, to be as you are right now in whatever physical, emotional, or energetic space that you're in. Just feel completely yourself. No matter how you feel, just accepting yourself as you are. No matter how, how your mind is doing, no matter how physically you're doing, just feeling yourself, bringing your whole self to the table here. Bringing your whole self into this temple and in the temple, the goddess temple, in the temple of God and goddess, Sophia of the divine mother, all are welcome exactly as they are. So just feel yourself stepping into this temple space, this sacred space exactly as you are and know that you don't need to be anything other than that. Breathe in and exhale out. Accept the energy patterns that are moving through you right now. I'm willing to feel, I'm willing to be me. It's safe to be me. It's safe to feel. It's safe to breathe. It's safe to express my voice. It's safe to move my body. We are the ones in the driver's seat. We're sitting on our own thrones and we get to control the machinery <laughs> of our body by the choices that we make, how to move our body, what kind of food to put our body in, to put in our body, where on the earth we want to place our body. We align our will, our heart and our intentions with the highest good with the greatest joy for ourselves and therefore for all beings. Just feel that alignment and surrender into it. Surrender into the flow of life, surrender into the flow of love. Feel the nurturing of Gaia She has always been there for us. She's still taking care of us. We still have access to her waters. And depending on where we are on the planet, how the water is flowing where we are, we have different responsibilities and roles. If we are in a place where we have access to clean water, then it is our sacred responsibility to bless the water with our love because that water is moving all across the planet to places where the water is not so clean, where water is not so easy to access. So what kind of water do we want to be reaching those places and for people to be taking into their bodies? What is the frequency that we want to share with the world? We align our hearts to the divine and the highest good of all, greatest joy of all, for the fulfillment of our true essence, 
for the fulfillment of the divine unfolding, <laughs> which has no beginning and no end. We beautify it. We purify it. feeling your heart energy, the love that you have access to. Just bring that love into your body and allow that love to dispel all darkness. That love is intelligent. That love is guiding us every moment. That love knows us. We are that love. Flow that love out. Feel how it moves out into the world in a totally unique way and touches the space around you, the people around you, the objects around you, the water around you the animals around you, the plants around you. Place your love into the water. If you like, you can hold the water in your hands now. And here you can even just use the word love. Ahava. Can Reiki the water, put the Reiki symbols in. You can hum a tune that comes from your heart. You can make an om. You can place a picture of your beloved pet <laughs> into the water. <laughs> whatever is love to you, whatever is expressing love in this moment, just put it into the water. And feel that water the codes that you've put into that water expanding out into the world and when you drink this water in a moment or perhaps after that water is going into you and it's powering you and this is what we can do every day and if we recognize the sacred responsibility every day then we will directly connect to love <laughs> because love is what we want to share with the world. Why not? Why anything less? And this love is what we put into our bodies. So <laughs> if you like, you can take a sip of this water now as we close the transmission with a, a little bit of sounding and then you can drink the rest later or you can give the rest to the earth later. You can give it to a friend um, or a family member who could use some love. You can put it on your altar and dedicate it to the world or to a certain place in the world. You can give it to your pet, your animal, or you can just drink it. So I'm just gonna take a sip now. <sighs> And to close, we're just going to take some breaths and make whatever sound wants to come out, but it is gonna be of love, how love wants to express through you. It could be a sound, it could be a chant, it could be a word, it could be a sentence. But on the third breath, we'll just see what wants to come out. It'll be different for everyone. So breathe in. Feel yourself. Breathe out. 
Feel how powerful you are. Breathe in. Breathe out. Feel yourself connected to the earth, connected to the sun, earth and sky. And finally, just beaming love out of your heart. And third breath, breathing in. And exhale, express. Express yourself. Express your love. Create. Be you, be you, be you. <laughs> oh, you're so muted, love. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for your love transmission. Oh my gosh, maybe we can invite everyone, um, you know, after the call, if anyone wants to just take a little video of how they're expressing love in this moment and just share it in the comments or just, you know, then we can see everyone's expression. Yes, wow, <laughs> yes. Invitation to share your expression in the comments in the group. Wow, that's really mm -hmm. powerful. Oh, so much fun. <laughs> Wow, I feel like we could just keep going and I I know this is like a full on goddess. I don't know. We should just sit here all day and just like, you know, just and that's how we are. We're all connected. So even when we like click off the Zoom, we're just still all together, you know, just doing our thing, you know. And if we need something or want to say something, we can like type or call or or, you know, for those around you, like, oh my God, I'm so grateful to be connected in the flesh with so many beautiful beings here. Ah! Ah. Such a blessing. Wow, such a blessing, such a blessing. Aloha from Hawaii, from Big Island, Hawaii, everyone. <laughs> Thank you to this Aina. Thank you to the people, to the caretakers of this land. Thank you, Gaia, for allowing me to be here and just share this energy share the blessings that we're just we're blessed you know we're all blessed and just let's share it with the world amen amen amen, amen. saying hello oh what a kitty we felt her with us in the transmission oh wow um, and uh, and giving a big shout out to everybody from Israel and I know there's some people from America joining and Germany and uh, in uh, Israel so <sighs> thank you everyone for being here thank you Stephanie for your gifts for your wisdom for your willingness to serve and for your sisterhood with me it's so fun take in the mantle <laughs> <laughs> hold the torch <laughs> I'm like the sunshine codes. Torch. Oh yeah. New Earth way show or mantle. Choo -choo -choo. Oh, thank you. Mahalo. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Okay. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo. Thank you everyone who joined us. We love you. And I'm we going love you. To stop the live stream. Share with us your your videos and uh, be in touch. Oh. Bye. <laughs>